Hey guys, my name is Sasha. Um, this is a tutorial on how to set uh, custom resolutions and custom refresh rates in the new control center. Uh, because quite a few people uh, actually asked that question. So the first thing uh, we want to do is go to, to our desktop and open the Radeon settings. Uh, then we go to the display tab and up here we can open additional settings which uh, look like the old menu and under this menu point here um, custom resolutions you are able to set your own resolutions uh, your custom resolutions I'm gonna remove that one quickly uh, for a new resolution to be created, you click on new and you can create it here. So, li so like for example, uh, then you can create either the resolution here or you can just uh, use the uh, super scaling, I believe uh, it's called. There's uh, also the new feature, uh, which is actually already uh, older than this driver where you can uh, use super resolution to uh, use up to um, I think WQHD on e uh, any monitor so for uh, overclocking your monitor uh, we want to do the following you want to first set your resolution your target resolution and uh, then this is uh, kind of a workaround. The timings in this menu here, um, for me, they didn't work. Uh, any of them didn't work for me. So we have to use the manual timings, but uh, in order to set them correctly, we have to use CRU, Custom Resolution Utility. So let's open that up. Um, in order, you have to click Add and here set the timing to LCD standard. Put the resolution as you want it, put it in here. Um, here you have to put your refresh rate you wish. Um, and then we go back here. We see um, this, this. Uh, what do we call it? We we'll see these timings. We have to put them uh, here in the menu. So we begin begin with the horizontal timing. Um, the total is in this case 2,200, which is too much. So we have to use the timing here, which is 2, uh, 2080. That's uh, the resolution. Then the front porch is 48, and is sync with. Uh, is actually 32 so we have that set uh, the vertical timing the same we had the total which is 1115 that's or uh, again the resolution front porch is 3 and sync width is 5 so we, we can leave it and polarity is also important horizontal is positive and the vertical is negative in this case so we have to change that as well and now we also have to set the at, as, a, as a last step we have to set the uh, refresh rate we want to achieve if we're done with that we can verify the settings and voila there you go you're running your desktop now on a higher refresh rate considering your monitor actually supports that uh, be cautious when you overclock your monitor. Don't take um, too big steps when overclocking. Like two hertz, uh, I think is fine. Or depends. Some monitors can go up to 80 hertz. In my case, I can only go to 67, which is already an improvement. Uh, I can feel that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as you see, it works or at least I see that it works, I have no mistakes. If you also want to test your settings, you can go to the UFO, um, you can do this test UFO frame skipping test. 
and which shows you which um, hertz you are running right now. I'm still running uh, 60 because uh, I didn't actually uh, change my um, settings yet. So I added the resolution here which is working because it's added. Um, now we, we uh, have to um, to set oh, where I'm going here at the resolution we have to set it uh, you can now go here to monitor it should appear in the list and now now it's working just perfectly fine on 67 Hertz as you see or you should see it's probably stuttering because of fraps now it's 67 Hertz um, if you have a DSLR camera you can also take a picture with about one-fifth um, so the thing is uh, you have to take a picture if you want to test it and, um, if you have one like there's this white thing moving and in the picture there should be one straight line of the um, of the white thing if there's not it's the monitor is probably frame skipping and uh, the overclocking doesn't really work well so that's all uh, I had to say I guess I hope this helps and maybe I see you in the next video